The ETF Signals page lets you monitor and select ETFs based on their technical signals. You have two different ways of how you can look at the ETFs. One, where you select to show playlists. This shows you the signals for any ETFs in your playlist. Very good when I have a list of ETFs that I would like to monitor on a daily basis. The second option is when you want to see all ETFs with specific filters. Select show filters on the top right and then you can filter on exchange, asset class and so on, similar to the ETF genie. You can also type in any search string, for example, technology, to filter on specific ETFs. The table shows the list of filtered ETFs and their signals. Z stands for Z scored momentum signal. We show here the exponentially smooth Z scored momentum with a half life of 252 days. This is often good for approximately monthly rebalancing. The Z scored momentum is the value for the previous day, i.e., T minus 1, whereas Z star shows the value for the day before, T minus 2. One can for example sort on the Z-scored momentum in descending order to see which ETFs might be a good trade. The next signal is the RSI signal, stated as R. This shows when an asset is overbought or oversold. A reading of 70 or above is considered overbought, while a reading of 30 or below is considered oversold. Next is the MACD, which stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. It is used to identify trend changes and momentum in an asset. The MACD is calculated by taking the difference between a 26-day and 12-day exponential moving average of the ETF's price. The MACD signal, MS in the table, is the exponentially smoothed MACD. A trading signal is generated when the MACD line crosses above or below the signal line. A cross above the signal line is considered a bullish signal, while a cross below the signal line is considered a bearish signal, therefore it can be used to identify potential entry and exit points for a trade. The Z-scored momentum signal is normalized and therefore it can easily be ordered to look at the best potential trades. The MACD depends on the order of magnitude of the underlying asset and therefore sorting does not make that much sense. If there is a white box within the signals table, like for the UBS China Technology ETF, then this means that there was no data to calculate that specific field. One can drill down on any ETF and its signal. If you select the first icon to the right, it shows the historical series of the ETF and the different signals. The blue line is the total return of the ETF whereas the black line shows the Z-scored momentum over time. The green line is the RSI signal and below that is the MACD. If the bars in red are positive, this is a bullish signal, if negative a bearish signal. If we select the icon again for the signals, the charts will disappear and we can then select the icon to the right of it for the buy-sell signals. This is similar to the signals themselves, but instead of the continuous signal, we show a buy-sell signal based on some algorithm. For the Z-scored momentum, the buy signal is triggered if the value is above 0.2, a sell signal is triggered if the value is below minus 0.2 and otherwise it is neutral. Of course everybody might prefer to have their own algorithm, that's why we show the continuous signals as well. For the RSI, a buy signal is triggered if the value is below 30, a sell signal if the value is above 70 and it is neutral in between. And finally for the MACD, if the difference between the MACD and the MACD signal is positive, a buy signal is generated and if the MACD line is below the MACD signal, a sell signal is generated. If you close the buy, sell signal graphs, by clicking that icon again, then finally if you are in the show filter mode, you can also add an ETF to any playlist. Select the icon with the arrow filter on a playlist, or create a new playlist. For example, we create a new playlist called Biotechnology ETFs and we add that first ETF to the playlist. You may first also 
would want to study some more details and analytics of the ETF by selecting the plus button to the left of the ETF.